we've got more stables. Hi, Scrubs. I hope you're well. So we're back in horse riding teals. I'm here with North and a couple of my pets. Now, there has been an update, which is why I'm posting a lot earlier than I normally do. The update came out last night. So I have had a quick look. I've been through and looked through the horses. I have not seen any new horses in here. I have had a look in here. didn't see anything new. Um, I also had a look to see if there was anything new in terms of the quests and there doesn't seem to be anything new there at all no, no new quests or anything like that and i didn't see anything new in the pets or in the customized character either i didn't see any new outfits or any new hair or anything like that i haven't noticed anything new in any of those places if you have noticed anything new let me know down in the comments below but there was one thing that i did notice it's over here as you can see, there is nothing, nothing behind the stables like there normally is. Normally the big riding ring is there. It's gone, right? It's moved. So let's go on over. So Sundance and the Cross Country here. We've got more stables. And you know that I have been going off about wanting new stables for ages. Okay, for the last couple of videos, it's just been like, I need stables, I need stables. We've got stable space now. Look at this, there's one, two, three, four over there. There's also two more stables here behind me. And um, then there's another two spaces. So there's eight new stable spaces. There's also this little climby frame here. If I can actually get up the thing i'm trying just walk slow north 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 just go slowly just go slowly north please don't run up the steps don't run up the steps i'll fall right uh so as you can see there's eight there there's also more behind us so we finally got all of these stable spaces that i have been like complaining about because i was just like i need more stable spaces so there's the eight at the front, and then we've got another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've got loads of new stable spaces. There's also this little bench area over here on the other side of this water, and up here, there seems to be a little like area, which is kind of cute. I like that. Uh, it's like a little platform almost right there. So basically the entire riding arena has just been moved backwards and we've got this brand new space and this seems to be available to everyone. It does not seem to need VIP um, at all. Now this is what I found so far essentially and I am so pleased with the stables. I don't think this is the gameplay update though. I'm gonna say that now. I don't think this is the gameplay update that we were discussing. I'm glad that I've got more stables though. Very very happy. Um, you can probably tell, because now I can actually capture the floral, no, not the floral. Is it the floral one I'm missing? Yes. I think I'm missing the floral ruby, so I can now capture it quite happily. And I can also go ahead and uh, if I get another half a ruby out of chess, I can actually keep it. Um, so I'm really, really, really pleased. Super pleased with this. This is brilliant. I literally could not be happier. Now, I do want to check something, though, because... I am a little bit concerned as to my level and whether I'm going to be able to actually place any of these stables, so we're going to find that out now. Okay, let's go ahead and build a fantasy stable. Can I do it? Oh, are you serious? Okay. So I can't use these stables based on my level, but I'm pretty sure if I was to, I guess, buy a whistle, which I do plan to do at some point, that I probably would get those stables automatically. It annoys me though that I can't use them based on my level because I'm the max level. Unless we're going to get quests soon and then I can unlock these stables. Um, I did get a stable, I think I got, I got this stable out of a chest last night. Um, so, because I logged on to get the, to get my um, four hour chest, um, my 10 minute chest and then I logged off again. So I have this from them, this stable here, that's why it's there. So you can get these spaces with a chest. So if you win stables and chests, you can do it. 
But I don't like the the fact that I can't choose to buy the spots, which annoys me. Um, that's the only downside. I'm going to say there is a downside to this. Very glad that there are more stables, though. But um, annoyed that I can't seem to be able to use them. Now we're going to go and grab one of my other horses here. Because I'm going to check the rest area that we haven't missed anything. We'll bring out Knight, because Knight can fly. Okay, let's zoom way, way, way out so we can see nice and well. So we got this whole brand new area over here. We have, as I said, that little platform. We've also got that little seated area over there. Oh, I immediately fell as soon as I hit that wall. Right, okay. Obviously the riding arena is still here. I don't know if anything has changed in the riding arena. Let's go in. No, it's basically exactly the same. It's just literally moved. That's the only difference there. Can I go right through the roof? I can. Okay, we're good. Right. So, let's have a look. The... Oh, I'm running into the wall now. So the pet area is down here. And, um... I don't believe it looks like there's anything new over here. Nope. Pet area is the same. This area over here looks to be the same as well. Uh, we have over here, we have like this, the ship and then we have the dressage arena and that looks to have not changed. Essentially it looks exactly the same as it was. From what I can see around here there's no change to the dressage arena or this part of the river. So we'll head on over towards the level 25 area. So, so far I'm not seeing any differences, any changes. Uh, the area where you can mine opal so far looks to be the same. Yep, no change there. And then we have over here by the castle. Exactly the same. The arena's there. In here, in this area here. So everything seems to be exactly the same in all of the VIP area. Um, in the level 25 area. And the pet area. So the only change is this big area here with the tree in the middle. There's the fact that they've just moved the entire arena back and added more stables. Which is really, really cool. I am pleased about that for sure. And um, this could be the time where I could actually get a mythical whistle at some point. Obviously, I don't have enough gems quite yet. But um, yeah, no, it's... Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, no, that's a horse I have. That is a horse that I have, but I'm going to get it anyway. Because <laughs> we need those, those points for the club. There we go. I always love when I get double capture points. Unfortunately, it's not today, the looks of it. I think it's like double mining today. Oh, there's another one. Right. But overall, really pleased that there's more stable spaces. So I think for any of us who have been really, really stuck. Um, I am disappointed, though, that it does seem to be level limited again. I really don't like that aspect. But at least if I win, I guess, a stable out of a chest... It places automatically because, as I said, I got that rare stable, so it clearly went down. Um, and it does seem to. I would say if you get a, if you buy any kind of whistles or whatever, I believe from what some of you guys have said, you automatically get a stable. So if you do get one out of a out of a chest, you'll be given the stable with it. From what I understand, from what you guys have said, anyway. If I'm wrong in that, then let me know. But from what you guys have told me. That should be the case. So we have all these new stable areas, which I am pleased to see because we desperately needed them. As I said, there needs to be as many stables available in the game as there is horses, in my opinion. I don't think we're quite at that point yet, possibly. I would need to go and count every single stable. That's what I would need to do and count every single horse and then find that out. Okay, so I've done some counting. From what I can see, there seems to be 17 new stables in the new area. Okay, now I'm not including the Sundance stable and I'm not including the Cross Country stable because we can't use those for our own horses. There is then the 8 in the starter area, the 11 in the pet area, and then the 9 in the dressage area. And in total, there seems to be about 45 stables, approximately. Now, when it comes to the horses, we have over 90 horses in the game. If you were to get all of them, there would not be enough stables for them. So that is probably my next thing, is to see when we get more stables than we have horses in the game. Uh, because I think we do need more 
to be able to accommodate those because obviously for somebody that wants to collect all of them, I am not aware of anybody having every single horse of the game because I don't think there's enough stables to house them. So that's what I want to say. I want to see those stables included so that people have the option to get all the horses in the game if they so wanted. So let me know what you think of the new update down in the comments below. I don't think this is the gameplay update though. I think this was an update to try and address the fact that so many of us don't have enough stable spaces for our horses because that has been an issue for quite a while. And um, I still think that there is other things that we're going to see because I don't think this was the gameplay update that they had mentioned on Instagram. So for me, I'm still waiting to see what that is going to be. I am glad that they have added this new space. I do want to see them, I think, um, at least including some information in regards to how many stables you can have per level. I feel like somewhere in the game, uh, maybe in a book or some like tab in the game, we should have information about what things we can do at what level, because I think it would be very, very useful if you knew, okay, you can only have 20 stables at this level, so that you could choose what horses you wanted as you went along. I feel like it would help for the purposes of information really, um, because right now you just kind of have to guess when you're going to have enough stables and when you're not, and I have no idea what level I have to be to unlock more stables. I don't have any quests to level up, so it's kind of frustrating because I'm kind of stuck and I don't know which way to go or what to do. Um, so that is kind of how I feel about the update, but I am very glad to see those extra spaces. Very curious to see what the gameplay update is going to be because I don't think it was this. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. But anyways, friends, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you had a lovely day. Bye.